So in our previous video, we worked on our home component and I think we are done with our home component. Now it's time to create another component, right? Okay. So right now we have just hard coded this data, right? And we have just iterated over it and outputted this list. So because uh, we are making front end of our app first, once we just set up our back end, then we will fetch this kind of data from uh, our, our own server, right? But we, but as of now, we don't have our own server we haven't created so let me let us finish the front end of our app first then we will work on back end and then we'll fetch these data from our own server right okay for now just close this home component i think we are done with that and it's time to create a new component right or you can say a new screen so just click on this screen uh, directory and click here and let's name it as create E M P L O Y W -E employee dot J S right yeah so just go to this home and just copy these two lines control C and paste it over here right and in that I think we don't need image and flat list okay now I will use const and create uh, E M P L O Y W -E, and that will be an arrow function that will return some some jsx and then finally we need to export it export default dfault default and the name of component is create employee like so now in this component i want to create some kind of text input right and I will be also requiring something called as state in react native or in react js so let me tell you what's so special about this state so I will pull out from react uh, just put a comma here and just pull out use state hook use state hook right so let me so I will explain you why we use this use state right now I want to create a couple of variables right so to create variables i will be use i will use this use state hook right and for now our variable will have just empty will our, our variable be will be just empty now this use state hook returns us an array with the two elements now we can just destructure out the array let's do that const and let's destructure out the first element and let's give it a name maybe say name right and let's just structure out the second element and let's give it a name of maybe set name now what's so special about this variables right now we call this name as a state variable you know uh, these variables are not ordinary variable these variables which are created using use state hook are basically responsible for the dynamic behavior of our component because you know when we change this variable na, so our autom so our component automatically re-renders itself yeah that is why they are special right so to create this special variable we use use state hook right okay so and when we want to change this variable we use this set name to change this variable right so thus this second the second element is the basically a method to change this name right okay yeah so likewise i will create some more variables so i sh i can do alt shift down key okay and let's create a variable with phone and oh sorry phone and let's write set phone to update the phone phone number basically so next we will create email and that will, and let's create a method with set email e s set email right okay then we will create a salary as a l a r by salary and we will have set s a l a r y salary and then we have a profile picture user will have profile picture they will able to upload photos so let's create a picture and here yeah, set p i c t u r picture 
and then I think we will have a model also now I will explain you what model is so let's create a variable for model model and here we will create a method with set m o d a r right okay we don't need this okay now the set model initially will be of false so just right here f a l s e false right so initially this model will not be visible so you can consider this model as a kind of a pop up we have right okay so initially this pop up will, will not be visible so i am giving it a false so yeah so let's create a root view right so let's here write view and let's give it a style maybe sty le style of maybe we can say uh, sty le styles dot root and let's create here styles so const sty le styles and that will be equal to style sheet style sheet dot create and just pass this object and let's create this root r double o t and let's give it flex one flex one so that it can take the complete height of a parent tag so let's give it a flex one so that it can take a complete height of a screen and now in here we will create some text inputs now to create those text input we will use react native paper react native paper and so my internet was not running up so now it's working and here we can search maybe text uh, input yeah this one so yeah so we want to create these kind of text inputs so we can just import this text input from react into paper so let's do this first okay so import uh, something from react native paper and that something is called text input right now how we can use these text input so we can give it a label we can give it a value that will be coming from a state and then as we type on it we will simultaneously update the state as well right okay yeah so our state and this in value are in sync with each other right okay so let's just copy this up uh, control c now they are using the old syntax they are using the old old syntax of making a state variable and so so we are into the functional component and we are using a state hook so just ignore what they are using uh, as of now we will just customize it okay so just put it here what we have copied and let's give it a tab now first will be maybe let's say we will get we will give this label of name and this will come from our state and we have name it as name right so just simply write here name okay so value will be name and as we type on that on text change we are getting this function right and this function has an argument of text and uh, whatever we type on our text input this is passed in this text uh, argument and then they are updating the state now to update that state we have made our own method that is called a set state so we can just call that right so we can just call that set name to update and that's in set name we will pass whatever text we are receiving on typing so let's pass it like so and yeah so for now let's save this and let's see this on our emulator so in order to use this we need to import this component uh, in our app.js so let's import this import create e m p l o y w -E from uh, dot slash in our current directory we have screens and then we have create employee right now let's comment this home so we will just select and hit control slash to comment this out and we will use this create uh, we will use this create employee and let's see the output what we have on a screen right so hit reload once if it is not showing so this is what we have right so it is looking too ugly i think i have missed something here so oh, i have haven't given this a style right what i have done is, is use a style sheet instead i need to just copy this styles and then just assign this to a root i think that 
is not a problem hmm. so i just hit reload and i am able to see this nicer input yeah uh, just i hit just hit reload if you are if you are seeing that ugly but yeah this is looking beautiful now just hit reload if it this it, it, it was not working for you as well okay now we can see this we have input but you know i want uh this kind of like we should have an outline to make this outline we can give it maybe mode right we can give it a mode and this in mode we can just mention outline so let's see this now and we have this now outline now i think we should give it a margin right so in order to give margin i think we can create our own like here the object let's name it as input input style style and let's uh, give her a margin of maybe around four or maybe around five right and let's use this here uh, style 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 and style will be coming from styles dot and input style let's save this out and let's see how it looks like okay now we have little margin from top from top uh, right bottom and left right okay now likewise i need to create these much input components so let's copy this up uh, and you know i also want to change this default theme right now it has uh, this color i want to change this to a blue right so that color which we gave to our this f our this f fab component this color right okay let's do this first and for that we can just give it a theme prop which is built into uh, react native paper and this in theme themes take basically an object so let's give it an object and now here we can just write colors and you know instead of just writing this here we can just create a separate theme variable like here in below and const let's create theme our own theme variable and this will this is basically an object and it takes colors as a key and in this color is again an object and here we can just give a pri pri m a r y pri m a r y primary and in this primary we can give any kind of color let's say for now we have red and let's try to give this theme control c to our theme prop theme is equal to the theme we which we created right now so let's just save this up and yeah the color is getting changed right awesome so let's create some more uh, text input right so let's alt shift down key and let's give it a maybe name let's say email so this will be email text input and here the value will come from the email which we have created here so just write email here so this email thing and uh, as we type on our text input the email will update so to update this we have set email and then the text whatever text we are receiving in this function right awesome now let's create again this alt shift down key to create another text input and here we can just give phone p h o n e phone and the value will be phone uh, and to update this we have i think set phone yeah you know now this phone when users clicks on it it should add a, a special keyboard which only contains number right so in order to do that we can here just type key keyboard type yeah in this keyboard type there are a lot of things out of that we want number pad where it is yeah this one okay now let's save this and let me show you how it looks like so when i click on this phone it opens up a number pad like so but when i click on the email it's open up the email right awesome okay so these are looking beautiful okay now the red outline was little looking so ugly so we can what we can do is just copy this color of blue control c and just give this theme a color of this blue right yeah save it and yeah let's create a couple of more text inputs so just copy this up and let's create a salary uh, text input so here we will type s a l a r y salary and uh, this value will be of s a l a salary this just get rid of this keyboard type right and 
here set salary like so let's save this out and yeah let's refresh the component right or maybe we can say reload and let's see this yeah it is looking nicer and yeah it is working as expected so this is looking nicer so in next video we will create our own model right we will create a button right and that button will open the model we can say a pop-up and that pop-up will ask yeah that you need to upload images from either from camera or either from gallery right so i will see you guys in the next video bye bye